Chin up, chest out. I said chest out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I give up. Some people weren't meant to enter beauty contests. You can't quit. You were made to win the Marlow mother-daughter pageant. Why do you think you were born with that face? So I'd have a place to hang my nose? <laughs> and who has the perkiest mom in town? Well, your mom's just as perky as mine. Sure she is, but let's be honest. Has your mother ever been mistaken for Ed Asner? <laughs> Besides, if you don't enter, you know who will win. Yeah, that snob, Sissy Brown. A Sissy Brown! <laughs> what a nice surprise. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Uh, no! Uh, no, I... I was just getting ahead in my reading. <laughs> the reason I came over was, well, since you are class president and in charge of this year's pageant, I thought I'd save you some time by dropping off my crown size in advance. <laughs> How thoughtful. Yes, I know. <laughs> Word is, I'm the favorite this year. You see, I come from a long line of pageant winners. It's sort of a family tradition. Well, I wouldn't bother memorizing your acceptance speech yet because Evie and her mother are entering. Ooh, I'm quaking in my pumps. <laughs> I'm afraid it takes more than a pretty face to be the best. It takes sophistication and breeding. Oh, yeah? Well, Evie can breed with the best of them. <laughs> Snappy comebacks aren't my strong point. <laughs> Some of us were made to wear crowns, and some of us were made to wear books. <laughs> See you at my victory party. Oh, by the way, Lindsay, is it my imagination, or were you dropped off at school by Lou Grant? <laughs> Ta-ta! That does it. I'm entering that contest just so she doesn't win. Well, now all you have to do is talk your mom into it. No problem. She'll do anything for me. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, Mom, why not? All the other kids' moms are doing it. I don't want the whole town to see me parading around in a skimpy swimsuit. Believe me, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to wear swimsuits. We just have to do some sort of an act. I don't know, Evie. I never like the idea of kids competing against each other. I think these things should be done for the experience, the friendships, the fun. First prize is $500. Sounds like fun. <laughs> All right. Now we just have to think of a terrific act. What's your biggest talent? Oh, I can vacuum real fast. <laughs> Great. For an encore, we can empty the dirt bag. <laughs> no, we need something different. Something unique. Something that'll make people stand up and say... Do I have my shorts on backwards? <laughs> Buzz, what are you doing? Preparing for the upcoming beauty pageant. <laughs> and just between you and me and you, I think I may shoe in for Mr. 
Hey, geniality. Buzz, I hate to break this to you, but the pageant is for women only. But I've already taken shocking pictures of myself. We discovered after I am crowned. And what about my career as a male exotic dancer at Bloomingdale's? I think you mean Chippendales. Bloomingdale's is a department store. It is? Well, I better get my job application back before they see what I wrote down under special talents. Evie, how do you know about Chippendales? Oh, guess what? It's time to talk to Dad. Dad, are you there? Sure am, kiddo. What's up? Mom just said she'd be in the contest with me. Isn't that great? It sure is. See what I mean? You just follow my advice and you'll be able to talk her into anything. <laughs> He's such a softy. Where is she, anyway? Right behind me. Hardening. Oh. Oh, I... Hi. 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 Hi, how are you? I knew you were there. I knew I was just, uh... You fell for my joke, didn't you? Hey, Evie. Evie and I have been planning this for weeks, haven't, haven't we, Evie? Evie, we've been planning this. After all, I know how much you love a good, practical joke. Uh-huh. Keep digging, honey. You know us Antarians and our wacky sense of humor. Wacky. Boy, I wish I could have seen the look on your face when I said that. Um, is she smiling, Evie? Evie, is your, is your mother smiling? I, I, I like it when she smiles. <laughs> exhibition of stick throwing I've ever seen. We were twirling batons. Oh, well, in that case, stunk. <laughs> Kyle, no, no he's right. We'll never win with this act. Oh, now don't give up, Evie. There's one surefire way you can win. Ventriloquism. Ventriloquism? The, I'll show you. Beto, come here. Sit on my lap. <laughs> oh, no way. No, I'm not going to be your dummy, Kyle, no. <laughs> don't think of it as a dummy. Think of yourself as a non-verbal assistant. Uh, no, no, I... Oh, come on, Uncle Beetle, please. For me. Oh, all right. What the heck? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Good evening. I'm your ventriloquist, Kyle Applegate. And this is my non-verbal assistant, Brainless Beano. <laughs> uh, tell me, Brainless, how you doing in school? Yep, perfect. Really? Yep. My teacher says I'm a perfect idiot. Yep. Uh, that'll be about enough of this. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to throw my voice into the kitchen. Yeah, yep. I was about to throw the rest of you out the front door. <laughs> Kyle was only trying to help, Brainless. <laughs> Fino? Yeah, I know. Oh, wait a minute. I've got it. The perfect idea for your act. Yeah, it's that bit I did last year at the benefit to promote world peace. Isn't that the night you got into a, a fist fight with the Russian guy? Uh, yeah, but that was before Glasnost. <laughs> anyway, here's what I'm talking about. A record album? Well, what kind of music's in it? You name it and it's on here. Oh, it's a cough. You name it and it's on here. <laughs> yes, friends, now you can get every song ever recorded. You'll get the monotones, the teen tones, the rolling stones, Wayne Newtone, and if you act right now, we'll send you a very rare recording of Elvis passing up dessert. <laughs> you want to sell records? Uh, no, 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 no. Haven't you ever seen that show, Putting on the Hits? They play a song and people pretend they're singing. <laughs> That's for people that have no talent whatsoever. It could work, though. Maybe we should stick to stick throwing. Hi, sissy. I knew you'd be busy desperately trying to put together some sort of silly act. So I went ahead and picked out the trophies. Oh, look, and it's already engraved. 
To the winners of the mother-daughter pageant, Sissy and Susan Brown. Well, no point in waiting to the last minute. Where's the second place trophy? Right here. Then? Well, we were on a limited budget, but it is engraved. Labath Plumbing. If your pipes won't pass, call Warren Labath. Oh, I see someone's planning to do some baton twirling. That's always a real crowd pleaser. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? Sure. That's why my mom and I are going to do it in the talent show. Of course, we won't be doing anything fancy. <laughs> You know, seeing two records not such a bad idea. Took the words right out of my mouth. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the first annual Mother Daughter Pageant. I am your Master of Ceremonies, Mayor Kyle Applegate. <laughs> Did I mention that I am personally handling your property tax bill? Thank you, thank you. Now, let's meet our judges. First, the noted anthropologist, you're really gonna dig this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Erwin Drysdale. From our city library, the long overdue, <laughs> Elizabeth Payne. And a last-minute fill-in found hanging around the serving machine at 7-Eleven, the one and only Judge Buzz. Guilty! Hang him from the higher shrug. <laughs> but seriously, folks, you know, an event like this gives me such a warm feeling inside. Then again, could be that chili I had for lunch. <laughs> Thank you very much for cocaine. Thank you so much. Speaking of chili, that reminds me when I was doing summer stock in Nome, Alaska. Would you like to hear about it? No. We were doing this famous play by Tennessee Ernie Ford, Cow on a Hot Tin Roof. I played the part of the cow. And everything was going fine until the milking scene. And then... How's Cow doing? This actor... Now, he's either doing a scene from one of his old westerns, or the audience is forming a lynch mob. <laughs> Well, let's go before Sissy and her mom get here. I don't want to talk. Now, come on, come on, Evie. Be nice. I'm sure they're not that bad. Hello, Evie. Hi, Sissy. Hi. I'm Donna Garland, Evie's mother. Oh, Mrs. Garland. And you must be doing a scene from Little Women. <laughs> mom, please don't start. It's all right, Sissy. I think we're all just in a little uptight. Why should we be uptight? We're Browns. We're winners. Always have been. Always will be. But the important thing is to have fun, right? Where did you read that? On a Hallmark card? <laughs> when we get on that stage, survival of the fittest doggy dog, kill Barbie, kill. <laughs> Well, I think we've narrowed down the candidates for Miss Congeniality. What's the family motto? Sissy! Come back with the crown or don't come back. Oh. <laughs> Work for Princess Die. and Dolores Selkirk doing their frightening recreation of the film Jaws. <laughs> My mistake. That was Jaws 2. Fantastic. I give it two thumbs up, Roger. And you know, it just goes to prove the wise old saying, you can take a fish out of water, but you can't take Nell Carter to a turnstile. <laughs> Oh, oh. <coughs> Evie, hey, wonderful act. Hey, best I've ever seen. You were great. We haven't been on yet. Yeah, well, just wake me up when you are, then. 
Our next act is a team of Sissy and Susan Brown doing their presentation of Batons of Flying. <laughs> is really good. Well, who wouldn't be with all the pressure a mom puts on her? Oh, here comes our big finish. <laughs> That's too bad. Come on, honey, we better get ready. We're on in a few minutes. Could you mess up like that, sissy? I'm sorry, Mom. Well, it is a black day for the Browns. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Excuse us. Hi. Hi, Lindsay. Hi. Hey, I loved your act. Thanks, but I heard sissy and her mom are winning. She's the only ones that can beat them. Well, we better get changed, honey. Are you ready to win? Yeah, ready. Okay. See you later. Bye. Our next act is, uh, the last act, Evie and Donna Garland. Come on, let's get it over with. Is she really going out with him? Well, there she is. Let's ask her. Betty, is that Jimmy's ring you're wearing? Mm-hmm. Gee, it must be great riding with him. Is he picking you up after school today? Mm-mm. By the way, where's your beer? I met him at the candy store. He turned around. Sorry, Mom, but I can't let us win. My folks were always... Easy. What's wrong? Mom, I think I twisted my knee. We're gonna have to quit. Well, well, well you sit down. I'll cover. No, Mom, we can't... Don't worry. Go... We're garlands. We're winners. <laughs> the contest so sissy could win i are you sure you're not mad at me no i'm not mad i i figured our relationship could take not winning but i wasn't sure about sissy and her mom's i'm not mad well you sure are great i mean you made a fool out of yourself in front of the whole town <laughs> you're still not mad now i'm mad <laughs> but i'm also very proud of you you know, you were really going good there for a while. Yeah. Till you bleeped up the 1812 overture and I shot myself across the room. Do you want me to get that? 
right. What's this? Oh, there's a note on it. To the real winners. Thanks for teaching us that loving is more important than winning. Sissy and Susan Brown. You see, it just shows you that there's good in everyone. P.S. We kept the prize money. Hey, we may be loving, but we're not stupid. 